Welcome to SS Unitech Susil this side and this is continuation of PySpark performance tuning. So we are going to see a very important concept today that is the small file problem. So what is the small file problem that we will see in this video. So let's assume we are having one of the file and that file is having information for the sales. So if we are going to apply few of the DML operation on that table then it will be creating the different different transaction log for each DML operation. So as you can see here, we are having this input table and this table, if we are going to update the customer name on the basis of the SID, then it will be going to create one DML operation and it will creating one of the transaction file. Then after, if we are going to update the a2 then it will be again creating another transaction file so based on all these dml operations it will be creating the all the transaction files so you can assume like if your data set is big and you are dealing with the fact table and the dml operations are happening on that in very often then how many transaction file it will be creating so it is creating the small file problem and it's very difficult to maintain all these small files. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see about the small file problem. Our cluster is up and running and let me try to execute this cell for creating one of the data frame and this data frame and this data frame will be having the same data as we have seen in the slide. So as we can see data frame has been created successfully. Now let me try to dump this data into the delta format inside our output location of the sales tbl if you can go on this location and let me try to refresh this page then we will see we are not having such folder here so let me try to execute and it will be going to dump the data into the sales tbl folder so as here we can see it got executed successfully so if you can go to the blob storage and we'll try to refresh then we should be able to see this sales tbl so this file has been created so under this if we can see then we are having the total four partitions in the format of parquet so the partition one two three and four all these partitions will be having the data let me quickly go inside the delta log so this delta log as of now is having only these two files one is the dot crc file and second is the dot json file now let me try to go back here and let me try to create one of the table based on this delta location that we have created about this file. So it will be creating a table with the name of sales tbl under the default database. Let me try to run this cell for creating this table. So as we can see, okay, so this got executed successfully. And if we can go here and try to write the select statement like select st from sales tbl then we should be able to see the data which is available inside your file so we can see the same data now as of now as we have seen we are having two files one is the dot crc file and second is the dot json file let me try to update this sid1 customer name as solans so let me try to execute this so once it will be executed, it will be creating a new transaction file there. So we can wait. Now let me go back here and try to refresh. So it should be going to create another version that you can see. So these two versions, it has been created. And why these two versions are available here? Because when we are going to update anything, then actually it is not updating. So what it is doing, first it is deleting and second it is inserting the same data. So that's why we can see these two dot JSON files. So one for the deletion and second for the insertion. And let me go here and let me try to update as ID2 as RANS2. Let me try to execute. So this time again, it should be creating two additional files there. So as we can see, number of affected row 1. Let me go here and try to refresh. 
so you can assume like we are only updating a single row but for each transactions it is creating these many files why it is creating these many files because as per the delta definition so what are the changes that we made in last transaction or last to last transaction if you want to go back there then we can simply go and we can get the same data that we are, were having at that version so this is the reason because it is creating the different different files but it's very difficult and if we can go here and let me go here and here we can see earlier we were having only four different partitions but as of now if you can see then one two three four five six seven total seven different versions we are having with us but here like all the updates that is happened on this file so it is creating the different files for all those updates and it is also keeping the oldest file because it is not deleting it is only having the that partitions file and creating the new one so whenever we are required to go back to the previous version first it is pointing the latest one and after that it will jump to the previous version then the previous version and then the previous version like that it will be going to traverse back so i hope guys you have understood about the small file problem thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will see how we can get rid of this small file problem see you in the next video